Greetings and welcome to Let's Play the Channel House Trilogy. I increased the sound a little bit. It was a little bit louder, it doesn't do work. The, I think the main problem was that the main music, main menu music was way louder than the voices compared to, so meh. Anyways, uh, we just opened the cabinet. Yay, purpose. I, I don't know how long this game is. I wish I could, uh, I think I try my best to finish it in one go, so... For the psychological horror. Well, let's see. I'm not closing it again after all that. Oh, you should check it out. Thanks. Right. Let's see what we have here. Photo of me and Gavin. It's broken. I put it here out of the way. And here are the DVDs. Don't really care what I watch. I'll just stick some crappy horror on. Uh, always a good idea to watch horror during a stormy night. One hour later. Huh? Shit. I fell asleep. Huh. Gone eight. Phone's ringing. Who was this old lady again? Did somebody else see that? Better answer the. No, don't. It's the old lady. Hello? Gavin? Oh, Rob, hi. What's up? Oh, really? That's brilliant. Oh, thanks so much. Thank you. That was Rob, my neighbor from the apartment down the hall. He has my package. Told ya! The delivery ya. man signed it and left it with him. He's bringing it over now. I'm just... Shit. I'm doing this. I have to get ready. Shit. Yes. Shit. Fuck. S. <laughs> Douche what now, Rob? Forgotten where I live. Hello? Yes, this is Alex Davenport speaking. I... Thank you. I can't breathe. I can't fucking breathe. What? Hello? Oh god! Ah! Use the inhaler! Ah! Inhaler! Inhaler! I don't know if you have asthma or not! Use it! I don't know if it's good to use asthma spray when you don't have asthma. I'm not an expert in that. The breathing method. Are there other methods? Hello? Hey Alex! Jesus! How bad is this storm? Oh, hey, are you alright? Are you Jim Sterling? I'm fine. Thanks. Fine. I just had a bit of bad news. I'll I'll be fine. Sorry, Rob. Ah, oh, God. Gavin again? Nah, nothing to do with him this time. <laughs> Sorry. It'll be alright. I, I just need to sort some stuff out. Bad times. You know how it is. Hey, look, thanks for bringing this over. You sure? No, yeah. Seriously, I'll be fine. Thanks, Robert. You only call me Robert when you're not okay, Al. I know you like your own company, but seriously, you know where I am if you need me. Yeah, I do. And honestly, honestly, tomorrow you're gonna have me sniveling on your doorstep begging you to listen, but right now I just need... I just need... Not Jim Sterling in my life. Take all the time you want. Wait, I won't be here tomorrow. Sorry, Rob, I'll call you. Please don't worry about me. I don't want to think about anything right now. Days are endless. I need to get ready to leave. There's always tomorrow. I'll call Mom tomorrow, too. Now you fly out of the window. Outside, nope. the city begins to withdraw. The siren sounds in the night, blue light reflecting on brickwork as tireless paramedics rush to the scene of another trauma. On the pavement below, a woman hurries home, casting furtive glances over her shoulder as she pulls her coat tight around herself, the rain beating patterns on the fabric. 
car drives past, music disturbing the peace. The woman looks at the man in the car. He turns the music down, calls something out as he passes. I see the woman start to walk faster. She flinches at the thunder. The car drives off. Another set of sirens now. Yes. Somewhere in the distance, the city is drowning. This is where we live. This is our world. Ebb and flow, endless, forever. It's the perfect time for loneliness. The perfect time to indulge the selfish, petulant monologues of the dispossessed. But sometimes it's just like this, you know? Sometimes we can't help it. Sometimes we don't want to go out and hang out with your friends. Sometimes we don't want to talk. Sometimes we just want to wallow. You don't know me. You never fucking knew me. Go fuck yourself, you judgmental, self-righteous prick. Cat, I'll see you soon. What is she going on about? I, I would take an umbrella with me. Take a coat? Anything? Oh, Atlas Schwacht! I haven't read this in ages. I am the ghost of Christmas past. I told you to need a coat. Looks like the storm didn't reach here. The snow is still falling. And you're standing it's a there with clean, a t-shirt. Crisp night, just past midnight. The train should be here any moment. Aren't you cold? Oh hi, Harold Lang. So hey, you been waiting long? I uh, I'm not sure. I lost track of the time. Oh, Tell me about it. I nearly slept through tonight. There's a clock over there though. It hasn't moved since I got here. Oh. So you came here one so, minute ago. Uh, where are you headed? A little port town. Last stop. <laughs> Me too. I'm not staying there though. Catching the ferry to Auger Peak Island. <gasps> <gasps> yeah, me too. We have so much in it's common. Not a common destination, is it? What brings you to the island, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> it's dumb. You'll laugh. Mm. I'm headed there to dig around in the dirt and check out broken pots. Trust me. Everybody <laughs> needs a hobby. Okay, fine. It's a bit of a personal pilgrimage. Ah. I won't pry any further, but you know the funny thing. Personal pilgrimage. What's that? <laughs> it feels that way to me too. Train should be here soon. I think I can see it. <laughs> it's just an asshole with a bicycle and a lamp. <laughs> it's going to be a long, boring journey. Fool that I am. I forgot to bring any recreational reading material. All I have to pour over are some historical texts. Thrilling. I have Atlas mm. Schmack with me if you want to. Yeah, I have, a, I have this book for I you. Guess, I guess I should let go of it. I won't need it after tomorrow. Just one final reminder of Gavin I can do without. Hey. 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 You can take this. I've already read it. You lost it. something. Pulp horror fiction. Why yeah. is she wearing glasses in the air? Sorry. Me? No, not at all. <laughs> it's my guilty pleasure. <laughs> Mine too. This one's great. You ever heard of Cassell? I can't say I have. That's a pretty long oh. railroad trip. Well, he. Can we. Can I. We get this what's Looks there? Like this is us. Get this thing that dropped out there. Lady! Lady! Thing dropped. Snow. Hello. Hello. Two passengers. Well, this is my lucky day. Shut the fuck it's up. It's freezing out here. You guys got on board old Gloria now. She's nice and warm. <laughs> she doesn't... I'll come on and show you to your cabins momentarily. I'll just grab your luggage. Oh, I'll just keep... Can I can I get what's in the what fell down there? Fucking asshole! <laughs> can you can you pick it up? Don't drive over it. Ah. Well, well. 
What's this then? Who's a cute little doggy? Oh, okay, so you lost it. I know just who'll like this. Settle Fuck. down, you. We're nearly ready. And if you start causing a scene now, I'll have to tell young Floyd what you've been up to. And we both know what'll happen then. Uh. That's it. There's a good boy. You just be a good wee writer and wait, watch, and listen like you always do. What? It'll be over soon, and you'll be back home before you know it. What? <laughs> okay. Aye, I reckon so. Are you fucking Odin? <laughs> hey! What? Okay! Interesting! Oh, that's a hobby of mine too! Breaking close neck. So it's just shortish little. Okay. Okay, okay. I thought it was like full fledged. Ah, okay. Well, let's, well, let's carry on. The Paltra. I can do this in one sitting. The Paltra. Whatever that means. And the wicked. Shall hold their tongues. Whatever you say. They stir. <clears throat> Beneath this silent world of saints and sinners, twixt the living and the dead. <coughs> Train's still going. I can't have slept long. We left. Uh, we left. When did we leave? Where did we leave? Hmm. God damn. It's unnervingly quiet. <coughs> Not with your coffee. <coughs> Maybe I should fetch some water. The restaurant should be open now. Are we playing him now? Are we playing him now? Okay, hi, I book. I don't want to be carting a book around unnecessarily. Hello, look at me. I'm not writing a book. What do we have here then? Wallet. Yes. Dr. Lang, curator of the Krennic on Thames Museum. That's me, all right. It's nothing interesting. Okay. The Charnel House Burial by Louis Cassell. <laughs> to think I don't get enough of the dead without pulp horror novels. Uh, just one vice. Comfy enough to sleep on. Evidently. I don't know how you can sleep in your, while you're sitting. I, I could never do that. And I usually sleep all the time. Shut us down. We'll change it. <sighs> no use. Stuck. Stuck. Shut us down. Okay, let's go out. Fuck this. Let's go stir up a drink or two. Maybe something strong is in order. Clear the head. Mmm, whiskey. Okay, I'm Dr. Harold Lang. My destination is Auger Peak Island. I'm on this train to... <coughs> to Cuff. I'm, I'm going to evaluate some finds. They called me to... You're not really this doctor, huh? Otherwise you wouldn't have to... I can't just cart around any old thing. You could if you wanted to. It's not... A painting of an old train. I don't think the ticket inspector would be too happy with me if I took it. I mean, yeah, he, he breaks gross necks, he doesn't care. A painting of a train. Is it this one? No, looks too old. Maybe an ancestor. Locked. I can't hear anyone inside. Hi, ticket inspector. Good evening, my friend. I was wondering if you could... Ah, yes. I've seen you poking around. Having trouble settling down, are we? <laughs> Something like that. Could do with a stiff drink about now? Right you are, then. 
That painting on the wall. Isn't she a beaut? She runs like clockwork, so she does. It's this train. Uh, isn't it a little old? <laughs> you kids today have got no appreciation of machinery. <laughs> nope, Dad. We've got to be the same age at best. Well, practically grew up in us, so I did. There's nothing about old Gloria that I don't know. <laughs> There's a dog away, but I have no idea. Right, yeah, then. Okay. That's not the way to the west one, apparently. Locked. Locked? Locked? Isn't this the way out? <laughs> apparently not. Do I have something? A museum, a decal, and a wallet. Ah, a bit of money. Just what the doctor ordered. Five pound note and a credit card. Okay. I can't use this door. Yeah, could you take Not money? Released. Hello. Hello, ticket inspector. I always wanted to get close to you. Oh, you smell good. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> can I can use my credit card to open really this? Something I oh, come on. No. Please, my card. Uh, right, yeah, you are then. Yeah? Keyhole. The door to the next carriage appears to be locked. Is that normal? Nothing's wrong, is it? <laughs> you city folks always jump to conclusions. There's nothing wrong. It's just how we do things when our guests are asleep. It prevents prying eyes and swift fingers. Ooh. Isn't that a bit of a fire hazard? Pal, let me tell you. If a fire breaks out in this train, then no amount of carriage doors are going to save you from roasting. If you catch my drift, be a steel coffin if the unthinkable happened. Oh, yay! Sheesh. Um, could you possibly unlock the door? I could really use a drink. You have only two passengers. I don't reckon I can, no. <laughs> can give you the key, though. On one condition. Your soul! Please don't tell me he's gonna ask me to solve some ridiculous conundrum of his. Bring me back a shot of whiskey when you get back. Old Floyd will hook you up. Just tell him it's for done. Oof. No problem, my friend. Thank you. I always get in that drinking mood when I'm stepping close to necks. It's, it's a thing, you know. <laughs> Look. Oh, come on. Can't you use the key yourself? Aha. Uh -huh. Open. Aha. Uh -huh. A solemn looking young woman. She's a little unnerving. It's bad enough looking at the picture, let alone carrying it around. I click the left mouse button, you just have to... Oh, yes, what is examine? <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. A solemn looking young woman. She's seated on a chair. Her eyes are staring off at something just outside the picture's edge. It's a little unnerving. I feel like... I feel like I've seen a photograph like this before. If this wasn't up in a train carriage. She kind of looks like Alex. Face, hair, bits. Yeah, check out the back. No? Okay. Ah, better hurry to the restaurant. Don't want it to close before I can get Don's whiskey. Okay. Locked. Damn. No good. I can't even get the key in. Must be locked from the other side. Uh, do we do this? This with a credit? Not really. Oh, come on. Ah, better. The fucking door is locked. Ah. I can't just can't. Locked. Damn. Okay. Is your ID card? Not. Just the five part note. Not really. If you really wanted to, you could. You just don't want it enough. Okay. Tom, the second door is also closed. Could you please open it? Well, I think we will open the door in the next part. Anyways, I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And we will see each other soon. So take care and hit the like button.